Chris is making his specialty. Chris's famous pancakes. And of course, the last one is always a Mickey Mouse for Hannah. Sorry, he's a little distorted. What a guy. What a dad. How's good as he What a cutie. Happen. What a cute dad. <laughs> it tastes good though, even if he looks funny. They do. He makes really good pancakes. This table is going bye-bye. This table I've always meant to paint. Just never got around to it because I couldn't really decide what color. Never liked it. It's super orange. So I want to get rid of this table and I was sent one by Sun Mori, which is a company. I will put all the information in my description box below. And so they sent me one for free to review, to unbox and to review. I have my helper here. That's my hubby Chris for anyone who's not familiar. He's gonna do the unboxing. Here's the table. This is how it arrives. So it's a nice small box and it came in a like a larger box. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so hit it Chris. It see what we got so it's basically a side table with a lamp built in and it also has a phone charger so i thought that might be cool it's got another box inside okay so clearly it's pretty small and probably smaller than i was expecting because really it's honest. like boxes within boxes yeah but we've got our first two pieces here at least. okay i do like the wood tone some legs appear to be metal Is that supposed to be wood oh that's Wait, I thought it was going to be black. I thought it was black and wood. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I looked at the ad for the lamp. In fact, these are brown. They're supposed to, I guess, look like wood, but the lamp is black. So we're going to keep going because I definitely wanted a black lamp. The reason I wanted a black one is because you can see here, the lamp in the picture that they sent me looked kind of like this lamp. So I thought, oh, maybe it would look nice in the same room. So that's why I kind of want like a black one. Here's the table. The table, the wood tone is nice. I like that. That's it's nice. Been I've been trying to keep with like medium wood tones, you know? Let's look at, oh, that, look at that. That's actually a really good match. So Cause it's going to be near that. So. Do you think when I open this, it'll be another box? I don't know. There's a box, a box, <laughs> a box. It's like a children's game. A box, nesting boxes. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Let's confirm that the lamp pieces are black. I've got a charger piece. That's okay. Black. These appear to be black. Wait, what about a shade? I'm confused. Okay, but they're definitely black. How does the shade work? Well, you've got a... Oh, it's a put-together shade. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Well, okay. Hey, I'm all for uh, reducing packaging through interesting assembly. So we'll take it. Okay. Okay. I mean, hardware and that's what, pieces is what's in there. All right. Wow, they really got a lot into a little box. Go, go on the uh, reduced packaging. Okay, we had to take a pause because we had to make dinner. I had to go get Gabe. He was in Wisconsin on a camping trip. But here we are, we're back again. And he's putting the table together. The legs are coming out gold on camera. I don't know what it is about the lighting in this room, but it's not, they're not, they're brown. And I actually really like the color. It's nice. It looks much nicer, not on this camera. Penny is very concerned about what's happening. She's very worried. She's like, I don't know what that thing is. I don't like it. Please stop. I thought this was interesting. The assembly of the lampshade. Don't bend it, Chris. This is new. I've never done this before. Pen, relax. It's okay, babe. So this part goes this way. This goes this way. You mean to hold anything? Turn in the cure. Push the top. Just gonna start snapping it on. Just don't bend it. Fold it, you know. Because it'll show through the light. Oh careful, careful, it's bending, see? No. Wait, oh, that, oh, there kind, you go. that kind of bending. That kind of bending. That kind of bending. Or makes me a little nervous. Ring number two. He says he's a little nervous. What's, What's making you nervous? It's a lampshade. You don't want to bend it. I don't want to bend it. Feels like <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. There is. A lot of opportunity to screw this up too. <laughs> Look at you go. Needs to close though, buddy. I know. I know. Um, it doesn't fit. It does. Oh my. 
pretty gentle. Oh me, oh my. Okay, now he has to Velcro the sides together. Okay, to get it to fit well, we double teamed it. And so he held it and I pulled the Velcro across so that it would get nice and tight. All right, let's put it on the lamp. Okay, here it is all lit. It's really cute. And it's very adjustable. So if it like looks crooked, you see, you've got a lot of like adjustability here. I like it. Again, the color is much nicer in person. This camera's making it look goldish. It's not. My only like critique, I think these should be black as like an accent. They did them brown to like make them blend in. I and think they should be black. The yeah. Anyway, I think it's really cute. And I liked that they got it into a tiny package. So we're going to try to put it into place and then we'll film that, film it in place. Okay, sorry if you hear crunching, my puppies are eating dinner. But here it is all set up. I know I said I was going to put it over on this over here. But when we, were, when we were moving and I was like, you know what? I really like it here because this now makes like a little seating area because before there was no way to get light to this chair. So you really couldn't do anything but look at your phone. Like you couldn't sit there to read or look at a magazine or anything in the evening because there was no light. So this is a great solution for this little area. So I'm super pleased with that. I love that it has, this is the on off switch for the light. And then this if you have your phone cord, you can actually charge your phone while sitting there, which is really cool. And then this is just another outlet if you need an outlet for anything. So I think that's a really nice feature. It's $77, which I think is a really good price. Okay, so another lamp that I bought in this room, which I will show you. This lamp, I actually paid, I think it was 90 or 95 from Target and it looks very similar and it was a put together lamp as well. Like you had to assemble it. I think $77 for this with the table is a really good price. So I'm super pleased with it. I will put all the information in my description box below. It was not hard to put together. Chris did it, not me, cause you know how I feel about putting things together. And I think it took him about 30 minutes from start to finish. So, and we told you the hardest part was putting the lampshade together. Overall, very positive experience. I would buy it for myself and it fits a need that I had. And I was able to, I know it has like, you know, it's a little more modern cause it doesn't have feet, but putting my stuff on it then makes it look a little, you know, like, like that country rustic farmhouse look that I like. Plus I really like the wood tone because it goes with the other wood tones in my room. I like that, those medium tones. So anyway, I'll put the information in my description box. Thank you so much to Sun Mori for offering to send this to me. Overall, definitely a thumbs up on this product. I'd buy it for myself if it hadn't been sent to me. And let's go on to the next part of the vlog. Bye. Hey guys, give a wave. We're going back to school shopping. And Maddie's just along for the ride. Hannah picking supplies for her senior year. Oh my goodness. How did my youngest child become a senior? I don't know. Sorry. Molly's picking supplies for her senior year of college. What? Look at my classes. I don't remember what I said. What'd you choose? Picked a purple three subject notebook. Nice. Chris wants construction these paper. Are the, these are the supplies I like. <laughs> I am getting these. I use them for my tags at the pink elephant. And the one I have is, the point is nearly gone. Color coordinate. Ooh. Pink. Pink. Nice. It works. It coordinates. Green to green. Ooh, I like that. And blue to blue. Cute. It's an OCD Very nice. Thing. Very nice. She does actually have do actually. diagnosed OCD. So she's not just saying that. <laughs> but it helps her brain to not have them mismatched. All right, Gabe, what are you finding? I have this notebook. Mm -hmm. I have a couple folders. Excellent. This, this one I just buy paper of mm -hmm. because this is what I do math in. And I okay. just scribble all over it yep. and it gets totally trashed. Got it. It feels like um, it's a hearty math notebook. Good, good. All right. Key for a new apartment. <laughs> I was like, Maddie, you need a new one. All right, and then show us what else you got. So I needed some more hangers. Okay. So I got mm -hmm. these. And then I got a colander. Nice. And then a variety of kitchen tools. Cute color. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's for her boyfriend. Yes. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And I also got this peeler and then these organizing tools. Oh, good. And a thermometer. thermometer. Smart. 
You're all set. Mm -hmm. Nice find. We found a, a good size notebook for Gabe. Mm -hmm. They're much more, because I just don't like having a lot of stuff in my backpack. So I can just like take these out and make like a quick shot. Quick I don't jot. have to write down the whole essay size. He said it's not, <laughs> it's not like essay size notebooks. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the MOA, Mall of America, for those of you who don't know. Now we're doing a little uh, back to school shopping. And again, Maddie's here for the ride. I said I'd buy her a shirt though. Yeah. Maybe for, uh, and I bought her some stuff for her apartment. Yeah. So that's her gift. That's Gabe up. might get a new pair of shoes. I'm thinking that's what it is. Because yeah. I like having like a really robust pair of shoes yeah. to like just wear around. Like these are. These are fine, but they're like the suede type material right yeah. here. And I just want like a, a like a leather shoe. Chris's favorite spot in the MOA. Because it smells like chlorine. It smells like Disney World. Like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. This is the log pool. Wish we could uh, share the smell with you, but picture like a vacation pool kind of thing. And there's all the rides over there. There goes a ride. It's really fun. I'm gonna turn the corner. I want you to check out my family of screenagers. <laughs> All on their phones. <laughs> All right, Gabe found something. They are? A pair of Asics. Asics. I got a pair of these a few months ago, um, and I really liked them. And then I wore them for work all summer, and I was working at like a Starbucks. So they got like, you know, they got pretty dirty and worn in. So now these I can keep for like practices and running, keep these nice, and then the other ones I can just wear them daily. So. Nice, nice purchase. <laughs> Lunch has happened. Now what? Zara, Z-A-R-A. -A. Okay. Um, they should have some good clothes. And then we're gonna go, you guys wanna go to Arrow? Yeah, maybe. We're gonna Arrow go to Arrow mm. And I might stop in Cotton On while they're there. And then our final stop, Garage. will be Garage and Tax Center. Got it. It's a lovely day here in Minnesota. Gorgeous. All right, Han. Hannah's making a purchase. Well, I mean, from her budget. So cute. She likes it because it looks like bubble gum, and it's very cute on. So it's a sweatsuit. And imagine it with like a black vest. Oh, her puffy vest That's in how the fall. Got it. Yep. So that it calms it down just a little bit. So I can very cute. Very cute. We made it home. It was a long, 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 long day of shopping. Here's some of the final purchases. It was really long. Molly got these. Tell them the name of the store. <laughs> Zara. Sorry, Penny's very excited to see us. Zara. Uh huh. One and two, and these are ten dollars. And they waited in a line that was twenty five minutes and I long. I didn't try them on, but have you showed them the hack? No, they got this from TikTok, but apparently it works. You put the waist of your pants around your neck, and if it just barely touches, they will fit you perfectly. All right. So. So they we'll, should fit perfectly. Okay, and then Hannah's final purchase was this. This crew neck. From Paxson. Yeah, from Paxson. Says the best is yet to come. So, so did you guys have fun? Yes. yes. And Gabe and Maddie left. Maddie went to see a friend, and Gabe is off planning with a, a yeah with a friend. With a friend. So, anyway, we'll we'll talk to you soon. I'm closing out the vlog here. Bye. Bye.